the biggest rumor on the internet about Swamiji going wild right now, especially in India, that is the amazing island that Swamiji has and that he is turning into a country. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityananda Paramashiva. So there is this news on the internet which is going viral and uh, I, I, I mean, I don't think you would be surprised if I were to tell you that it was a fake, completely fabricated news. And that is that Kailasha, Swamiji has, he ran away to uh, Equator and uh, he has bought an island there and he is turning that island into the country of Kailasa and uh, yes, so that's a rumor going on and uh, it is totally false. First, right now Kailasa is a borderless, this is the greatest Indonesian, but is right now borderless means there is no land associated to the nation of Kailasa as of right now. And uh, it went to the extent, these news that went wild, especially on the TVs in India, uh, you've seen probably some previous videos where I say how media channels um, sometimes share very fishy information. And it's even going uh, on, on YouTube, there are some various channels which are not TV channels, which are also promoting this uh, fake news. And, uh, but the problem is that, I I'll give a, another just before that, a spokesperson from Equator had to come forward and say that this thing was not true. It means that this news has gone to the extent that you need somebody from another country to come forward publicly to say that the news, that whatever information is being spread is false. So that shows the, the amplitude and the nonsense of how things are going regarding this fake news. On what basis do they come forward and claim these things? What is the basis? What is the proof they have? Do you know what they're using as a proof? They're using pictures of Swamiji next to uh, the beach, which was, uh, these pictures were taken in India when Swamiji was traveling to Rameshwaram. And uh, they're using these pictures to support their claim that Swamiji has an island. And, uh, but these pictures were not at all taken outside of India. It is within India. And uh, sometimes also they would take some pictures from a retreat that Swamiji conducted in uh, 2015 in Thailand. So there's no such thing as Hindu nation. Swamiji ran away into a place, Hindu nation, and uh, he's creating his own thing. So it's again a complete thing, which is uh, to uh, blackmail Swamji to, to assassinate his character. I mean, his character has been, it's been being targeted and attacked for the last decade. And, uh, but yeah, so it's another thing. And I just wanted to share here on the channel um, how this thing is going. So it's like, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy to see how people... See, one thing also is that actually the news channel in India none of the news channel in India are owned by Indians. It's pretty scary when you think about it. That means that Indians do not have a voice to speak. These medias are owned by people, companies outside of India. So naturally, if they're owning the TV channels, they will have their own purposes. And these purposes might not be aligned and supporting Indians or Hindus. Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So that is also something to keep in mind uh, regarding how actually how Indians get brainwashed by news channels in India. Brainwashed against Swamiji. Why Swamiji? Hinduism has been persecuted for hundreds, thousands of years. For hundreds or thousands of years. Swamiji is standing strong and loud for Hinduism. So naturally, the whole conspiracy and tactic to destroy Hinduism has been copy-pasted to Swamiji. But because Swamiji is such a big player in the revival of Hinduism, then he is the main target. 
Whatever strategy, whatever way they approach and try to destroy Swamiji, it is the same tactic being used to destroy other Hindu Gurus. And the purpose is to get rid of Hinduism for various reasons. Um, so Hindus are kind of blind to that and they don't realize that Swamiji is the solution for Hinduism. Why? Because he is the one who will expose, who is exposing the attacks against Hinduism, the subtle attacks that are behind the scenes in the shadows and they are uh, very clearly targeting Hindus and destroying Hindus and want to get rid of Hinduism for various reasons again, various individual reasons. And there are many parties in there also. Anyways, so Swamiji is the solution of Hinduism. His life is the solution for his Hinduism, actually. I know that many Indians do not, many people, I won't say Indians, Indians obviously a lot because they've been brainwashed by the TV, local TV channels since a decade now, but uh, even people outside, uh, people don't realize what is going on, but Swamiji's life is a proof and it will be a proof of what is going on towards Hinduism. And as long as Hindus don't take a stand and take responsibility and start to own their Sanatana Hindu Dharma, then this thing will continue. And Swamiji is there for that. He is there to revive Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So naturally, all this uh, conspiracy towards Sanatana Hindu Dharma is being brought to light bits by bits as Swamiji keeps doing his work in a huge way. So Hindus, Indians have to start to realize that. They need to start to put the pieces of the puzzle together and start to decide to do something uh, if they care about their tradition and the richness of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So yes, so that's what I want to share in this video. Um, inviting, inviting you to put comments if you have questions, of course, remain polite. All comment, abusive comments will be removed. Um, and uh, if you have doubts, bring your doubts. But, uh, but remember a few things. None of the TV channels are owned by Indians. The pictures and what proof do they have to claim? They make a lot of crazy claims, but the proof they have, there are, there is no substance. If somebody actually does individual uh, research a little deeper, they will realize that there's no substance. They're just words in the air yelled very loudly. So because it is loud, it distracts the people, but whomever starts to look for the root of these things, well, quickly they will realize that there are no roots because these are fabricated lies. Um, so like, subscribe, share this video with friends if uh, definitely it is necessary. <laughs> so share it with friends. And watch Nityananda, Nitya Satsang every night, um, 7.30 uh, a.m. IST. Before Swamiji comes live, uh, disciples of Swamiji are speaking about the persecution that is going on and, and bits by bits exposing different parts of the persecution in order to reach the right people and the people who want to stand for Dharma, the news channels or whatever, which actually want to stand for Dharma and expose the other side of the, the, other side of the coin, the truth uh, behind these big, loud, uh, fat lies uh, portrayed, especially in the Indian uh, paid media. So with this, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Nityananda.